Welcome back. So I'm still working on this uh, replacement of the aileron cables uh, to use the sleeved cables instead. So these two plates, I uh, was up at Brits there and used his band sort of cut these uh, 4130 and the holes in them need to be tapped there so they can accept the cable adjusters which allows you to you know, tighten um, the cable if necessary, which I'm probably going to need to do. So I got those drilled and tapped as you can see and uh, there's that one done and so they basically live up inside this, uh, the far outboard end of the strake there and they're going to bolt up against the existing little stopper there, the one being used for the rudder as you can see and you can see this one, there's, it's already up in there there, just got it mocked in place there sitting up behind that uh, carbon fibre bracket there. And uh, this is the one in the right hand wing right now. And the left hand wing is basically the same thing. So you look up in there, and now I've got them actually painted because I painted them uh, overnight there on, uh, was it Thursday night? Uh, Wednesday night? Wednesday night, I think. Yeah, Wednesday. And just one bolt holding them into place because they're going to actually be pushed from the back. And you can see there's the threaded hole there, sort of just underneath where that bolt is there, or just back behind it. So once I get the cable adjuster, I can put that in there and uh, likewise here's the one now again on the right hand side and after it's been painted and bolted into place. So that's the end stops out in the wings that are done now. Um, so that's that job out of the way and you know as I think I said to you last time in the in the video that I already ordered all the materials uh, for this. Okay so something else that needed to be done after sort of Mark reviewed everything was uh, the elevator trim control. I needed to adjust where the mounting point was here because it, it wasn't really sort of centered. And when it was fully aft, you weren't, uh, when the trim was fully aft, you weren't able to, or fully down, you weren't able to push it all the way forward to sort of override it. So I've kind of adjusted that mounting point from that now. As you can see, you can push it all the way forward. And likewise, when it's trimmed all the way in, uh, you can pull it all the way back. So you can basically override it. And I had Brit weld up these other two brackets. So these are the cable adjuster end stops there. And those are the face plates there that are going to be bolted on the inside of the cabin. So the curved ones there, or the ones are going to live inside here in the nose. And you can see I've got like a little cardboard template. And then you can see the cable coming over the top of the wheel. So I'm just figuring out there where the holes need to be drilled in those brackets to accept the cable adjusters so they line up with the cable coming off the wheel and this is kind of what it looks like just the way it's sitting there matched on the cardboard template that's how it needs to be so i was a little bit off with just eyeballing my angle there for that faceplate but no big deal um, so i won't be able to just sort of drill in there 90 degrees but i'll i'll drill in on an angle and the edge of that yellow tape there indicates um, the line of where I need to draw the hole and obviously tap it. So that's why I've clamped it to my table there. And you see I've already done a hole punch there where, or center punch there where the hole's gonna be. And drilled the hole just lined up with the edge of the table or, the, or that tape. And as you can see now, I'm just tapping the hole. So it is on a bit of an angle, but it's quarter inch um, 4130, so it's no big deal uh, doing it on a bit of an angle. And here's the other one, so I'm just finishing that off. So both of those brackets are done and um, there was only one other job that I needed to do prior to waiting for uh, the cables because I got ordered the cables and the cable sleeves and the cable adjusters and some ferrules for the ends of the cable as well, all those coming from California. And the only other thing I needed to do was I wanted to remake those little um, cap covers there that hold the little... Um, I guess it's a ferrule block or stopper or whatever on the cable and the older ones in there just weren't that snug and so there'd be a tiny bit of movement so I redid those and UPS totally failed me here so I ordered those cables, cable adjusters, um, cable sleeve and ferrules and stuff on Tuesday on the 17th and they shipped on Tuesday as you can see 7.43 p.m. And then they've just basically sat there. They didn't really make it out of California yet. And this was supposed to be second day air, as you can see at the top side there. So I should have had everything on Thursday. 
and now it's Friday night and I literally can't finish this job until now they're saying Monday is, is what Monday by end of day is what they're saying delivery is going to be now I'm planning on um, taking some time off probably as much as two weeks off there from Christmas and I was trying to get this all done beforehand so I knew full well or not whether or not this new change to the cable thing was going to fix my problem with the aileron flex um, but you know this stuff if this only gets here on Monday then you know the end of day that doesn't leave me enough time because I was going to um, you know take time off from Tuesday morning so unfortunately that's is what it is and uh, and uh, you know I'll try my best if it arrives sort of lunchtime or something like that I can probably get the cables in there we'll see and depending on that will be depending on whether or not I post you guys another video um, before I take time off um, anyway I guess that's what it is but uh, yeah UPS totally failed and I know it's because of the holidays but whatever it's just you know I paid a lot of extra money to get a second day air and then I'm just not getting it for for six days is ridiculous so anyway fail UPS and one of the other things on Mark's must do before first flight list was to have this elevator um, dynamically or mass balanced and as you can see here that the complete elevator is sitting aft of the hinge point there when it's fully deflected so that means all the weight is there wanting to pull down on it so what I need to do is put some weight on there to balance it back again same as what I did on the ailerons but I don't want to do it from the outside because that would look weird and ugly and whatever and you can actually do it this way from the inside and people have done it before in different aircraft so this is just a mock-up example of how it would work just have a uh, pivot arm out here with some weight on it and not pushing very hard or there on it at all and what that does is basically add the weight there to balance this out and of course you know when you hit um, bumps and stuff the weight um, is balanced out the same way as what's on the um, elevator so anyway how I'm going to do that is um, have Brit weld on to these ears here a better an extension that's heavier and then there'll be an extension going sort of at the back here and then in between those two there'll be a rectangle tube 4130 coming out here and then the ability to bolt some weight on there and I'll probably only need about four or five pounds of the lead that I have on there that Brit's mining for me thanks Brit I'll be able to get some more of that <laughs> and uh, so that'll overbalance this so it'll always want to tuck in here in the full nose down position and of course a trim spring will hold it where it's supposed to be and yeah to be perfectly honest with you I completely forgot about this with all the other stuff I had going on that that needed to be done uh, anyway, so Monday, hopefully that cable and stuff arrives early and I can get everything in and test it real quick just to see if the main aileron problem there is fixed with the play. Uh, if not, this is how the aircraft's going to sit while I'm away and hopefully people don't come in there and mess with it. So that's the update. Um, hopefully um, I can get another one out to you on uh, Monday night and if not, uh, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.